A parent who knows how to read can read the instructions on medicine for their children. Uh, an adult who knows how to read can read a ballot and cast a vote. If you go to an area like Mali in West Africa, it can be as high as 80% of adults are illiterate and the breakdown is usually much worse for women. When we went to visit their nighttime class in Mali, what we saw were 40 students in an elementary school classroom that had no electric lighting, all trying to learn by the light of one or two kerosene lanterns. The other problem is that most of the books were actually printed in the United States, shipped to Mali, and then distributed to these rural classrooms at high cost. What we've done is we've married what's considered sort of obsolete technology, microfilm, with high intensity LED or light emitting diode and plastic optics adapted from Fisher Price Toys to give us a projector. Microfilm's got all these wonderful qualities. We can fit 10,000 pages of information on a single microfilm cassette that costs five dollars. So that's the whole adult literacy curriculum plus a reference library. It was expected that the Kinkajou was going to provide better educational performance than the nighttime classes. What wasn't expected was that students were doing better in the Kinkajou classes than they were even doing in the daytime classes where lighting wasn't a problem at all. We're finding something like four times as many students in the Kinkajou classroom are reaching the highest level of education. Literacy is tied to pretty much every standard metric for development, from health to democracy to economic development. By tackling the problem of adult literacy, we're really tackling one of the fundamental issues in quality of life. <laughs>